Hello, how do you know that you need another team member or your first team member? That's what this video is all about and I will give you some tips on what the parameters are. My name is Tineke Rense from Powerful Business Academy and I help business women to scale and grow their business and double their income within a year, guaranteed. Now, helping you to scale and grow your business is never about just one area. Please don't believe all these business coaches who tell you if you have your book, if you do this, if you do that, then your business changes. It's different for every business, it's different for every person. And there's always a lot of things that need to be in sync before you can scale and grow your business. So today, let's talk about hiring your first team member. How do you know that you need a new or your first team member? Right, tip number one. You know when you are too busy, when you cannot get your tasks done, when clients are waiting for stuff, when you are starting to make mistakes. So you really are too busy. There's too much delay in your output. People are, cry, are reaching out to you like, hey, I'm waiting, I haven't had this. I'm a... That's when you know, oh, I do need help, okay? And it's not a good place to be in because I know we all want to deliver a great service. And um, when people start to, to complain, it's definitely time for you to step up and start hiring your first person, even if you think you cannot afford it. I will talk about that as well, okay? Tip number two, when you still do everything on your own, there's no excuse, you should not do that. You, we, a business is too difficult for one person. You always need more people in your business. You always need to do the things that you love, the things that you like, the things that you are good at. And you should not buy lots of trainings to get just a bit good at all the other things that you need to do. No, you need to hire people. And that's really the biggest mindset shift that I want to teach you. It's very, very important. Don't want to do, don't even think about doing everything on your own. That's not a scalable way of doing, running your business. And it is a way of what I already told you before, where the mistakes happen, where, uh, you, you, yeah, where, where you get too busy. All right. Tip number three. You can also feel when you need someone else and the feeling of getting overwhelmed, of getting frustrated, of feeling haunted because you're so busy. So that is something else. It's a feeling, it's an emotion. You might not even be that busy or you might be very busy, but listen to this emotion. If you have that, it's really time to start hiring someone because this is not a good place to be. When it, that is how you feel, that's also how you vibrate. And that's when you attract even more of these situations. So you need to stop and you need to take action. You need to take care of that emotion. And that's working on your mind, uh, tracking the emotion and replacing it for someone else. Like, hey, I'm, I'm just doing what I can. I'm totally okay. And if it not, won't be done today, it will be done tomorrow. And you need to start finding someone who, do, who does the work for you. Tip number four is when you start to notice that you are doing a lot of the things in your business which you don't like and which you are not good at. If that's the case for you, you really need to start hiring someone or start to delegate tasks or even start to employ someone. It's totally up to you. There are, uh, there are lots of variations. All right. Now, how to pay for this? It depends what, what kind of person you want. If you need someone for sales, they will always pay themselves back if they do a good job, of course, because they bring in more clients. They have tricks, they know how to convert. So you can give them a commission. They, sometimes you don't even need to pay them at all. You pay them once they bring in a client. That's one way of 
paying for your first team member. The other way is save up to three months of how much you are going to pay your first team member. And within these three months, you will know um, if you like the person, if the person is good, and if the person saves you enough time. Now do know that you also need to invest time in your first worker because they're new, you need to train them. So in, initially it will cost you more time. So you shouldn't wait until you're fully loaded to finally hire someone. You should do that first. And after three months you will know, hey, do, am I getting more free time? And within that time, I can uh, have more sales calls and convert into more paying clients. And then your time, your freed up time, pays for your coworker. But three months is what you will need to assess someone and also to know, well, will I be able to make more money with this person? Either they make more money for me or you are able to make more money. Now, if you still think you can't pay, Go and check out my favorite platform, it's fiverr.com and that's where you can hire people for as little as $5 an hour and some of them even work two hours for that amount. Now, if you can't afford 10 or $15 a week to hire someone for three to six hours to do work that you're not good at or don't like, then you have a serious problem in your business and I'm not sure if you should continue and I hope you don't mind me being honest and being blunt, all right? So if you think there's more things that you need help with and not just finding your first person, you know, there's always, like I told you in the beginning, there's always many, many areas you need to work on when you want to scale and grow your business. You can schedule a quick 15 minute call with me. It's very fast. I won't be selling you anything. It's just a quick call to find out, do we like each other? Can I even help you? Do I have the knowledge and the wherewithal? And I think I have because I have 31 years of business experience and I am really, really very all round, but that's up to you. Um, I won't be selling you anything during this call and you can find the link below the video. And please don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel, Powerful Business Academy. And I might talk to you soon. And if not, I'm looking forward to inspire you and teach and train you again in the next video. Bye-bye.